So what, what like what are what can you do to stand out? Well, it's like you have to find at least one thing that you do that that it's going to be really hard to find someone do better than you. So what you, you might have to look at it, and I'm not going to give you just like here's here's five things, but I'm going to give some examples. So one way to look at it is look at how is the game played right now. So like let's go back to when I was a hockey player in the '80s and the '90s. Okay. The 80s and 90s was a jungle, right? When you skated, there was a stick through your legs or in your ribs or, uh, you know, it was cross-checking, it was fighting, it was big guys. It was fast. It's, it's a lot faster than people thought, but it wasn't the same flow. It was a game of intimidation and all that kind of stuff. So that game is that. Okay. So if I'm looking back now and I'm a five foot ten skilled guy, then... You better be really, you have no chance to play if you're just kind of skilled. Yeah. So, or, so you have to be as, as tough as Ty Domi, right? A smaller guy that's going to beat up big boys. Well, I wasn't doing that, <laughs> right? Or you have to be skilled like Martin St. Louis or Joe Sackick, you know, a six footer that was ultra skilled, super goal scorer. So, that that's the game changer there in that era it brings whatever so if you look at today's game everyone is skilled not most guys are very very skilled and what people are really starving for 100 percent, is someone that will go make an impact in the game from a toughness side i truly believe the guys that are going to start making money in the nhl level are the guys that are going to be able to bring that element of toughness. I think they're going to get start getting paid because yeah. you take the Tanner Janot, the, uh, the Tom Wilson's, the Kachuk, Kachuk, uh, guys like that, that bring that grit and can put some pucks in the net. They're getting paid. They're right. going to, I think that's going to be a commodity that's necessary, but so you take that same player, it, this t- Tanner Geno or Geno play in the national hockey league in ni- 1995 might not be tough enough right he probably it fits in the middle but he's not super tough i i, I don't know the no, answer yeah that's an example right? though yeah so and then there's a there's a guy like i don't know uh mitch marner play in the national hockey league in 95 i don't think so actually right, right? so vice yeah. versa there's a lot of guys you can flip on that so my point is, is that you have to find something like you look at the game and it's like if everybody's the same how can i be different right right yeah S- go ahead well, and that's that's why it's a really good tip or really good point to actually study the game. Yeah. And kids can do this, man. Like, you can ask these questions. Or mom and dad, if you have the hockey talks with your kid, like yeah. my dad used to do all the time. It's like, ask questions to see what is the game lacking, yeah. you know? And it's, ne- it's, it's never going to be the thing that most people are doing because that's the average. And the average makes you vanilla. Yeah. You know? Well, just, you know what? Just look at... Uh... You say you see a lot of the people posting videos on hockey. Well, what do you see? Yeah, it's all Everyone the same. posts the same thing. Same thing. Michigan, here's my man. pylons. Here's a tune. Here's a camera angle. And you see someone doing something. And you see the same thing a thousand times. And then if someone brings something a little bit different, it's like, oh, this is cool. Right. So it's the same thing as a hockey player. Yeah. Right. Exact, exact same thing, man. So other things that, like, I'll just throw a few points out there on things that you can do because, like, like how do I become different? Like it's easy. Like I said, it's easy to say you said it. It's easy to be the physical guy. Not, no, no. (laughs) It's easy to identify guys that don't hit and say, well, just start hitting. Well, that might not be your game. You might not be very good at it because you might be, uh, you just don't have that natural ability to, to lay people out or to be effective hitting. And you might end up on your can all the time. So maybe you're better off going in there with a stick on a puck and just angling bodies and just taking a little bit of piece yeah. of them right yeah, so that might are. be your thing yeah right so you got to make sure that it's actually effective for you so if are you faster than anybody if you're if you're you know if you're really 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 fast that can be an attribute if you're uh if you're really 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 big that can be an attribute that that makes you stand out obviously <laughs> but your big your your size could be an intimidating factor it could be just reach and 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 uh good on penalty kills or just having good reach to knock pucks away. So that's actually a really good skill. Like if you watch someone like we were talking about in the playoffs, Alex Kalorn and whoever else it was, Nichishkin and all these guys, it's like they're just knocking pucks away, disrupting plays. I disrupt plays better than anybody else in the world. If you work on that actual skill, 
when anything's around me, I'm in positions where I can knock pucks away and disrupt plays. Right. You become different than most people. Mm -hmm. um, block shots, like the one guy on Charlie's team, Ashton Reeser, he just blocks shots. He just blocks shots. Eat he doesn't them. care yeah. if he gets a point. He It seems like he enjoys just pucks hitting him. And how yeah. effective is that? It's like you can't even get pucks through because he's he's going to get in the way. Like that's effective, and scouts see that. And it's it's not the sexiest thing, but it's a thing. Um, is your shot right? You might be kind of in certain areas of your game not the best. Or like you're you're just average, but your shot is extremely above average accuracy and uh, release and all that kind of stuff. So okay, there's a thing, right? Um, physical contact or maybe it's a leadership thing a dressing room thing you know like that's not so visible uh here's a, here's one for you smarts like you hear a lot of parents say yeah he's not that he doesn't stand out that much but he's because he's really smart well usually that's not the case <laughs> but you, you there are kids out there that are just really really smart players and they don't have to go at the speed of the game they could actually slow it down right yeah um one that Aaron Eckblad I feel has is what I call a panic threshold so I think in his because Aaron's not the greatest skater at all. But what he does well, he sifts pucks to the net. Like, if you walk some of the goals that Aaron scores, it's like, how did that go in? Because they go like, yeah. Yeah, they float, and then they go off an ass, in, off a shoulder, goalie rolls off his head and go in, and it consists, like, a lot. Yeah. It's not an accident. It's a skill that he has for some reason that no one understands because it, it's just the way it is. But what I'll give him, what I think, which what I think he does extremely extremely well is he has a panic threshold when what i mean by that is like under pressure like if i'm on the blue line and i'm aaron Eckblad and you're pressuring me there's like where most guys are gonna you know throw it in the corner and, and whatever it's almost like the game will slow down for him and he just goes okay so i'll just go this and this done and it's in a safe spot so that's like above and beyond most people so that's what makes him stand out and he's six foot four and he's but right and his puck skills yeah what about uh, Thomas Holstrom? He was just the best at tipping pucks. So if you uh, it can tip pucks and just like, that's a very valuable thing on power plays or net, net front presence and stuff like that. It's ama amazing. And then maybe being a second effort guy that the Brendan Gallagher that just never, 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 ever, ever, ever stops working until the job is done or the whistle goes. And even after the whistle, it's eh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? It yeah. just never stops. Yeah. So, like, those are, like, a few examples. And, and like, you don't minimize a kid that can – when you see a kid that just does something kind of special, like, you, yeah, 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 do that really well, really well. And then, yeah. of course, learn the game. Well, you know, this –